Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday, February 29th, 2020. It is leap year, uh, a day that happens only once every four years, as we all know. So, uh, we have been getting hammered with snow. Um, it is crazy. I've dug out some paths, as you can see here. Uh, so I got my path out that way for the dogs because they were going out there. I haven't even gone in the greenhouse. But I started my path. I got to show you. I started my path out this way, right? And I got all the way to here. And I went, that's far enough for now. <laughs> um, I went out. You can see my little walking path out here and cleaned off the panels this morning. And uh, so part of them were cleaned off, like these ones on this side were already kind of, that were cleaned off. I just had to finish cleaning up the other side. So I did that this morning. And uh, the greenhouse is looking like a huge igloo at the moment. It was just, it snowed all night long, guys. All night long it snowed. And you can see it's overcast now. Uh, the sun is trying to peek out of the sky here. But uh, yeah, we've gotten a lot of snow. A lot of snow. So they're... Probably about a foot is my guess altogether, um, if I had to guess. But what are you going to do? It's uh, It was coming down nice and steady all night long. I was like, come on, enough already. But anyway, um, so I want to go over a couple things that are going on here. And a couple of ponderance questions, okay? So we've had this virus, and I did make a mistake the other day, and I want to correct that too. I said there was 400 test kits in California when there was actually only 200 test kits that they had in California. Now, according to um, Newsom there, the, the governor, he was complaining about the fact that there wasn't enough test kits, and now they're saying that they're going to have enough that they can test um, up to 1,200 people a day. So they're getting him to test kits. But my question with that would be, We've had this virus here for a while already. Why wasn't this taken care of before? Again, this is a dropping the ball big time by the government, in my opinion. Okay, So when you see these things, I just it, it just never ceases to amaze me uh, the just ridiculousness of the whole thing, that they, they are not on top of things. Uh, very, very not surprising. I can't say it's surprising because it's not, uh, but it's just... Uh, very, very poor management um, on their part when you have now, we've had our first death from the virus here in the U.S., uh, somebody in Seattle, I believe it was a woman, and uh, we have a whole bunch of new uh, people tested that uh, positive, and see, here's the thing, is I, these people are testing positive, how many people have they really tested so far? Uh, you know, I believe, and, and, and so how do you keep the numbers down? How do you keep the numbers down for positive cases? You don't test anybody. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm blown away half the time, to be honest with you, by just what they do and how they do stuff. It is, I'm putting my hat up, it's a little chilly. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. But uh, what are you going to do? I mean, it's, so what, what, what are our options? What are our options as everyday people? Um, again, you know, I've talked about, you know, really proper hand washing is a huge thing that you can do to help yourself with this whole thing. Scary things with it again. Uh, you know, they have no idea how long it lives on the surface of something. They really don't have a true idea of how long the incubation period is, anywhere from 14 to 27 days. Um, you know, and so if you have a, you know, an incubation period of 27 days, or let's say it's 21 days, and 14 days later, you know, you've had your 14-day quarantine, good luck, have a good time, and they go off and about and do their thing, and they're contagious, they have the virus but didn't test um, positive for it on these tests, which have been flawed as well, which I find interesting, okay? I'm going to turn this around so you can kind of see, get an idea. I mean, look how much snow... <laughs> is on on there it's a good amount but uh and then on the picnic table too so yeah we've, we've got uh more snow lucky lucky us and of course now it's snowing a little bit now as well so that's fantastic uh the weather's supposed to change as of tomorrow i think it's supposed to be 41 tomorrow and then over the next four or five days it's supposed to be fairly decent so hopefully this starts melting again uh, we were getting to a point where it was melting very nicely 
and uh, you know now we're back to where it is now but uh, what are you gonna do it is what it is and that's kind of what we deal with but uh, so I've had a lot of people ask me who owns that building uh, that's my building uh, it is where I keep my Harley um, and I have uh, a I have food storage in there and I also have you know tools and stuff like that in there as well so uh, my property extends down the road here um, it's behind the chicken coop a ways and then you know that then the neighbors have their property in there like basically where you see that truck cab sitting there that's really close to the line of what the property is um, that camper is one of the guys in my group and uh, you guys have seen him I've done the videos where he redid that camper and so um, you know, I put those videos up for you guys so you could see what he had done with that camper as well. And so, uh, but yeah, that's uh, one of my one of the outbuildings. So again, you know, just uh, what's going to happen here soon, guys? Okay, so we're we're going to talk about like everything's going to be normal for a second, and nothing is wrong, and nothing is going to happen bad. What are we going to be doing here at the homestead? Okay, so where you see the wires coming up here, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting right there oh, I got company uh, we're going to be putting in a uh, uh, a building right there which is going to be where the new battery room is going to go so that's what's going to happen there uh, looking like mom is going to have her camper uh, she's decided to go with a camper and I tried to talk her out of a camper but she wants a camper uh, we're going to put a camper over behind the solar panels for her now my sister um, we'll figure out someplace else for her to put her building where she wants it. I'm actually thinking um, for her if we stuck something back in here. You know, there's there's all kinds of options um, as well. So, we, and I got a couple other things in the fire that I want to do as well. So I will go over all those different things with you guys. You know, as as we go on with stuff. But um, so anyway, uh, so far t yesterday we ended up with nine eggs yesterday. So far today, I've already pulled five out with the birds. I've got them locked up again today just because the weather is cold. Um, I don't want to let them out. Tomorrow's going to be in the 40s. I think they said 41. So I definitely plan on uh, letting them out tomorrow. But uh, So it's been like three days they've been locked up inside. Oh, I think he just got himself stuck. Or is that as far as he's going? Nope, he got out. <laughs> so obviously, um, just so you guys know, it's the guy that my my one of the guys in my group. He's decided to bring up a few supplies, and so that's what he is doing um, here today. And so he's going to get himself stuck over there. Yeah, I'm thinking he's going to get stuck. Yeah, I think he did. Darn it. So let's see. But anyway, so we'll deal with that in a moment. But anyway, guys, so um, a lot of interesting stuff. More new cases um, are popping up with uh, no source of origin with the virus. Uh, that is something to pay attention to. The numbers in South Korea have jumped up hugely. The numbers in uh, Italy are increasing as well, and also in Iran. So you're having this huge increase of numbers of new cases it's something to pay attention to. All these people out there saying, oh, this is nothing, this is all this propaganda and stuff like that, I'm not buying it, okay? Uh, misinformation, I believe, I'm, that's my opinion, okay? I'm giving you my opinion. I believe it's a lot of misinformation. I think they're trying to keep it under control because they don't want it out there of what's really going on. So, again, pay attention to what's happening, okay? That's the important thing. And uh, so, you know, that's uh, it's uh, scary stuff that's happening, but we need to pay attention to it. i got to see if he got himself out or not, or if he's still stuck. Oh, looks like he's, he's stuck. I'll have to go over there and help him in a second. So, anyway, um, I don't know why he tried to back into that driveway. Did you get it stuck? Yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'm almost finished. Um, so, anyway, guys, I am going to jump off here so I can go and help him. But uh, pay attention. Pay attention to what is going on, okay? Uh, a lot of craziness happening, and we need to be on top of that. So, um, 
you know, just continue to get ready. That is my advice. That window of opportunity is closing, and when all the sheep realize how bad things truly are, there will be nothing left in the stores to get, okay? So um, continue to get ready, continue to prep. That's my advice to everybody. Remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Uh, we need to work together and try to help each other. Also remember... Um, to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's real important to tell the people that you care about every single day how you feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to accomplish, whatever you are trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you, okay? Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do another video later or not. We'll see what happens. But uh, if I don't, then I will see you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.